Hey, yo, what is up, guys? It's Sam back on the channel here. Listen, hey, um, first of all, before I go into this video, I just want to give a quick shout out. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to click this actually, maybe even put it on my story. But one of my friends, uh, his name's Adam, you should actually go and check out his page on Instagram, custom.fits, I believe. Please, please, please make sure I got that right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably have to edit over that if I, um, if I didn't. My bad if I didn't edit over it either because I have to make so many fucking videos. Sorry about the language, guys. But my friend Adam, um, he actually gave me the idea for this video and the next two videos, I believe, that you're probably going to be seeing um, either today or tomorrow. Uh, so, yeah, shout out to him for this video idea. Um, sometimes I do need to sort of take them from our friends and, you know, family and stuff like that. As it is hard for me to find video ideas on my own. Just for, I mean, you know, how, how many videos I, how many videos do I fucking upload a week? You know what I mean? And I don't run out of ideas. Because clearly it's not just me coming up with those ideas. As great as I am, the people around me are even greater. So I need to pay some uh, pay some respect to them. And the fact that they give me a lot of video ideas. Me and my girlfriend will sit there for like an hour. Sometimes just thinking of great ideas. So, so shout out to my girlfriend as well. Um, but yeah, so this video is basically covering how to stop being a slave. Now I would like to call this almost a part 2 to the previous video. But... Um, I would hate to do that as well because I'm going to be covering a lot of the sim, well, a lot of um, similar points to the ones I did in the previous video, uh, just because it is sort of um, linked to spirituality. Um, but yeah, so how to stop being a slave? Now, first you've got to sort of think of your definition of actually what a slave is. Now, I would personally consider a slave more of a mindset than a physical thing because I think there is actually a way to detach from um sort of social norms and reality in this day and age as hard as it is anything hard anything that's worth having worth having is hard to get so obviously it's po it's possible it's very much possible um but you know just be just like getting rich it requires some form of work but a lot more mental than physical um a very very much more mental than physical labor because spirituality is all about the mind and the way the mind works or at least my version of it is anyway um what i believe is that you know you should you should have full control over your mind at some point in life and that would be the peak of your life and i have been through that before where i've been fully fully delved in and disconnected from reality but yet delved into making my soul happy, which I did speak about in the previous video. But I believe for your soul to be happy, your life have to, has to be sort of extremely balanced as far as like, you know, the yin and the yang. You have to be experiencing basically, you know, all the different emotions. Um, and the best way to do this is literally just to connect with nature because it's in the name, nature, natural. If you want to be more natural, connect with nature, man. Where do you think we came from? Before there was all these big city buildings and, uh, you know, towers and fucking estates. We used to just live in nature. We used to live by the trees. So if you guys want to, if you guys want to understand how to live more, how to live healthier and live better, go back to the source, go back to nature. Nature is the best healer. Nature tells all. And, you know, the most, the most of the knowledge that I have, I've got from just going on nature walks and just thinking and being present, staring at the trees and, and feeling, you know, the grass. Like, a lot of the stuff that I know is literally just from fucking meditating by trees. But that's a, that's a separate video. But, um, yeah, anyway, guys. So, not being a slave is literally just the mindset. You know, the mindset of not, not you know, trading your time for money. Um, as you guys know, obviously, through jobs and stuff like that. The mindset of, you know, not sort of falling into social norms. And actually living how you want to live. Now, I... I, I um, the, the sort of process I think you have to go through to understand how you actually want to live rather than, you know, involving social norms in your vision and in your plan is to first meditate, go within yourself. Um, I feel like this is for people who are more of advanced in meditation and, um, you know, understand their minds a lot more and how they sort of, you know, how they, how they think and how their mind works. Um, I feel like this is for people who are, you know, sort of more into that. Um, but yeah, go into your mind, go into yourself, meditate, um, and strip away all social norms and all the conditioning, and just think about what does your like inner child want? 
what would your inner child or how would your inner child have wanted to have lived? Because you got to think, your inner child is the most purest version of you. As 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 much as you might want to be mature, your inner child is the most purest version of you. Because because before all the programming, you know, before before all the societal fucking programming that you've been put under, and all the school system, the education system, the workforce, um, or the work system, should I say, or even university, all the different all the different words and sentences that are played on your mind through music, through people talking, through bullying, all these different things that have been through, well, that have passed through your mind and have influenced your mind and programmed you to think and act a certain way. You have to think back to when you were a young child and the way you thought back then and the things that you wanted back then that actually made you happy. And, you know, because when you're a kid, you're, you're the purest version of you. And all you want to do is play outside and, you know, have fun. Unless you were obviously brought up with technology and stuff like that. Like, I mean, yeah, fair enough, I probably was. But all, all I wanted to do was go outside and have fun in the sun. And even sometimes in the rain, you know what I mean? Like, just just enjoy life. Like, I remember I used to go on a lot of walks with my parents as a, as a young kid. And um, just used to enjoy that type of thing, man. It's like, when, when you're a kid, you're just the purest version of you because you haven't been through that conditioning yet. So you got to do some real deep inner work and um you know think back to what you would want as sort of a childlike version of yourself that's without programming because let's just face it guys we've all been programmed with we've, we've all been fucked over and conditioned by the system so the easiest way to undo and rework well rewind the slave programming is to go back to when you were a child and you had no programming or no conditioning at all apart from maybe that of what your parents gave you and fair enough that might not be amazing either but you just have to go back to the purest version of you and then well, work back to that, work back to the purest version of you and realise what that version wanted and what that version saw as a future for itself. And that's kind of how you get out of being the slave programming is, you know, obviously understand what you really, really want and then get into spirituality, you know, meditate, um, watch the previous video I made about sort of, you know, losing your job when you get into spirituality um and you know deciding that you know you don't need any of this stuff you can detach from reality and that's how you really become you is by understanding that this body is just a vessel and that you are the soul that lives inside there's two parts to the body there's the higher self and the ego i believe that the ego is more than just your mind you know having this sort of cocky version of itself and you know having anxiety and all these different things. The ego is the, the physical form. That's what I believe. The ego is the physical form. And that's what actually ties us to this reality. Because the ego is the emotions that are tied to this body. Whereas the higher self is the thoughts that we have that actually carry us and help us survive in this vessel. Because there's missions that we need to complete on this earth that require this vessel to do work. But whilst also being controlled by a higher self but the way that you undo the slave program and like i said just to summarize go back inside yourself do the deep inner work realize what your child pure forms of yourself would actually want and even just ask your higher self as well find out how to find out how to come in contact with your higher self or do the inner work and find out how to you know get in contact with that child like version of yourself realize what you really want and then once you realise what you really want, then you don't have to fucking, you don't have to, you know, work jobs, you don't have to fucking worry about, you know, making money. Because most of life's purposes that God has actually given us involve nothing, nothing made by these evil people that, you know, I don't want to get into conspiracy theories, but... <laughs> Child predators, fucking pedo rings, like all, all this, all these things that you see that are happening at the top with these elites, as they say, it's all real and it's evil stuff. But the thing is, the thing that you got to realize and that you will realize when you do undo yourself from the slave program and then you do stop, be, stop being a slave, you'll realize that for one thing to exist, there has to be a polar opposite for you to be balanced within yourself and, you know, you know for you to have a balanced life and for your soul to be happy. You know, there has to be people that don't sort of, you know, have happy souls and don't have balanced lives. 
say for example for good people to exist there has to be evil people as well so you have to realize that for people like me and you to exist who want good for others and you know who wants to lead these balanced lives there has to be these evil people at the top that are considered these elites but anyway guys that was a quick video on how to undo the slave program and shout out to adam custom fits shout out to Rui as well Listen, you guys need to go and check out, check out Custom Fits for your fucking arms, man. I'm telling you, let, let, listen, matter of fact, let me show you um, let me show you what I got from them as well, if I can find it. I have, um, I have a top in my wardrobe that I got from Custom Fits. I don't know if I, it might even be my girlfriend's, to be fair. But if I know, no, we got it here. Listen, Custom Fits, get at them for your fucking arms, man. Philip Pline. This... This top was literally meant to cost about, I, I, if I, yeah, check that on the back as well, a little leather logo there. Fire, fire top. Look at that as well. Clean, clean, clean as a whistle. But, um, yeah, get them for your gorms, man. This, this top was meant to cost about three, four hundred quid. Got it for, like, what? But, I, I mean, I was, meant to get, I was meant to get it for, like, 120, 130, but obviously I gave them more because showing appreciation for your friends and investing in their businesses something that you need to do also to undo the slave programming because invest in small businesses man we've got a, we've got a flourish out here we've got to grow but anyway guys get a custom fits if i didn't if i didn't put the link down below if i didn't fucking add them in some way in this video i just wanted to give them a shout out anyway um but yeah custom fits on instagram get out of them man because adam did give me this did give me this idea for this video so yeah guys peace out anyway